Hey there, fellow car nerds. Welcome back to MG Guy Vintage Vehicles. Greg here with a new Pro Street Friday video. You'll find links in the video description below for each of these vehicles. All right, enough talk. Let's get on with today's Pro Street Vehicles for Sale. Okay, let's get things started with this 1981 Chevrolet Malibu, listed for $16,500 US in Birmingham, Michigan. It's been driven 50,000 miles and has an automatic transmission. From the seller's description, 1981 Pro Street Malibu, big block Chevy, TH400 with trans brake, also have extra motor, transmission, stall converter, ignition box, pro charger, radiator, too much to list. If interested, send me a message. Motivated seller, green clean title in hand. Okay, not a lot of pictures with this one, but I wanted to include it anyways. Here we have a 1973 Plymouth Duster, listed for $22,000 US in California, Missouri. It has an automatic transmission, and from the seller's description, 1973 Plymouth Duster, driven 100,000 miles, H-code Pro Street drag car, stroke 360, 412 cubic inches, aluminum heads, ported, roller cam, all new motor, trans, 875 rear, Car runs and drives, needs just a little to finish up. Ladder bar back half. Okay, here we have a 1964 Plymouth Barracuda, listed for $36,999 Canadian in Toronto, Ontario. It has been driven 10,000 kilometers, has an automatic transmission, and 650 horsepower. From the seller's description, this is a street race car, perfect to go to the car shows in, 383 small block high compression, very well built motor, too much to list. Car is tubbed with ladder bar setup. Ask away, serious inquiries only. Here we have a 1964 Chevrolet Nova, listed for $19,999 US in Weston, Massachusetts. It's been driven 60,000 miles, has a manual transmission and a clean title. Now for the seller's description, I'm going to try and get through all of this. 1964 Chevy Nova Street Strip, chop top, plexi front and rear windows and quarter windows, doors have roll up glass, 8 point cage, back halved, chassis engineered ladder bar suspension. Dana 60 456 gears, stock front end with PST bushings, etc. Willwood disc brakes, Lakewood shocks, 
Aeromotive fuel system, MSD ignition with launch control, 396 small block, 13.5 to 1 compression, Dart Pro 1 aluminum heads, Vic Junior intake, solid mechanical cam, Treem TK0600 face plated and pro shifted by powertrain performance, custom pressure plate and clutch disc, QuickTime Bell and McLeod hydraulic throw bearing, 15 gallon aluminum fuel cell, set of new slicks and new Mickey Thompson Sportsman's are included. Too much to list? Please contact for more information if interested. Runs on Octane Race Fuel. All right, so I wasn't sure about including this as it may not qualify quite as a pro street in the strictest sense, but it is a former race car that's now street legal and I think it's pretty cool. So here we have a 1926 Chevrolet Roadster listed for $30,000 US in Las Vegas, Nevada. It has an automatic transmission and from the seller's description, 1926 Chevrolet Roadster driven 305 miles, 392 Hemi, Dyer's 671 supercharger, Turbo 350 trans, 9 inch rear end with a 411 Bozzy, was an old drag car, one piece body, now street drivable with lights, horn, turn signals, etc. I've owned it for five years, clear Nevada title in my name, but too small for me to drive, so only a few miles since built. I do fire it up occasionally at the car shows or to scare the neighbors, lol. Open to trade offers for something else interesting. Alrighty, here we are, a 1971 Ford Mustang, listed for $22,500 US in Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's been driven 100,000 miles, has a manual transmission, and from the seller's description. 1971 Ford Mustang, driven 100,000 miles, Ford 9-inch rear with 411, 29 by 18.5 rears, 4-speed, top loader 351C, stroked to a 408 weigh-in stack intake with dual 600 CFM carbs, Hooker Super Comp Long Tube Headers, Roll Cage Extra Wheel with Rear Tires. This is a Mach 1, but someone branded the interior as Boss 351. I also have a Mach 1 Stripe Kit in a box somewhere that I'll try and track down. Runs great. Recently did maintenance including oil, plugs, tube, and brakes. Needs new rear shocks. Open to offers, but not desperate. Gets lots of attention. I have another project and need the room. Okay, here we have a 1971 Pontiac Ventura, listed for $24,000 US in Wallingford, Connecticut. It has an automatic transmission and from the seller's description. 455 Pontiac Street Strip Car, new top end turbo 400, 12 bolt rear end, beadlock weld wheels, Hoosiers front and back, 1050 Dominator 10 gallon fuel cell, B&M shifter, all signal lights work, 24,000, cash only, no trades. Here we have a 1938 Pontiac two-door Pro Street Coupe, 
listed for $24,300 US in Yuli, Florida. From the seller's description, it is a big block Chevrolet powertrain. The motor is a 468 roller motor with narrow pro street rear end. It is equipped with nitrous, needs lots of TLC, but runs good. May consider trading for a boat at equal value. All right, this is a new one on me. I don't know if this was fabricated or if Ford actually put some of these out. Here we have a 1972 Ford Pinto truck listed for $17,995 in Kansas City, Montana. It has a manual transmission and from the seller's description, 1972 Ford Pinto truck, driven 12,000 miles, LS 5.3, tubbed, too much to list, message for details. Okay, last but not least, here we have a 1971 Dodge Demon, listed for $20,000 US in Mission, Kansas. It's been driven 65,000 miles, has an automatic transmission and a clean title. From the seller's description, 1971 Dodge Demon drag car, 440 30 over with a 661 hydraulic roller, fresh valve job from Siebert Performance out of Topeka, Selbert Performance 950 Holly, reverse manual valve body, 727 trans, eight and three quarter rear with Richmond 411 gears. Cage, clean clear title. It's street legal, but this is a drag car. Okay, that's it for today's Pro Street Vehicles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you'll be notified when future videos go live. If you are enjoying my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. There is a link in the channel description below. By supporting me on Patreon, you'll not only be helping me produce these videos, but you'll have access to each and every one of my videos ad-free, 24 hours before they go live on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.